What's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to be talking about why you should not buy an AR-10. So let's get right into the video. So before the video really kicks off and I tell you why you should not be buying an AR-10, I would love for you guys to hit the like button if you enjoy the video and hit the subscribe button. Both those would mean a ton to me and also go check out the merch. We got some pretty nice merch that we just dropped so go check it out. Buy it if you like it. Don't buy it if you don't like it. It's that simple but I would like you to go check it out. Alright so let's get right into the video. Why shouldn't you buy an AR-10? Okay um, I don't really mean don't buy an AR-10. You can go buy an AR-10 if you want to buy an AR-10 but I'm going to tell you why I think you should buy an AR-15 instead of an AR-10. I have tons of experience with both of them, and I feel really strongly about why I think an AR-15 is better in so many more scenarios than an AR-10. And just why? Why, why do you? Why do you? Why do you think you need an AR-10? I'm going to debunk some of those 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 reasons why you think you need an AR-10. All right. So let's get right into it. Why do you think you need an AR-10? A lot of people like AR-10 for the the power that you get from it, the 308, the 65 Creedmoor, monster bullets. All right, can absolutely demolish things. All right, I have a Diamondback AR-10 right here. This is chambered in 308. Love this rifle. Okay, it's a good shooter. Uh, it's done me well, but but it's so so big. It's so heavy. And the 308 bullet, if you're hunting whitetail deer, it absolutely just demolishes it. Alright, I know a lot of people that have big AR-10s and they hunt whitetail deer with them and they absolutely destroy the deer. Right? Okay. And I know all bullets will destroy deer, but some bullets destroy deer a little bit less than 308. Like, for example, This 6.5 Grendel right here, all right, it's a little less powerful and on the AR-15 platform. Bullets cost the exact same as my 308 over there. My hunting bullets, 25 bucks on both guns, right? Plinking bullets, six to seven bucks, both guns, all right? Exactly the same price, all right? So for the power, right? 6.5 Grendel and the 308 are just a hair off. All right, at so many different ranges. This is not a super technical review, so don't be expecting me to give velocities and all kinds of stuff. You can you can look it up, and there's thousands of spreadsheets where you can tell you all about the statistics. I'm not going to give you the statistics. All right, 6.5 Grendel is less powerful, but not by that much. All right, not enough to where if you hit a deer with 6.5 Grendel and you hit a deer with 308, yours the deer is just going to get up and walk away. Now if you shoot it with 223 it might. And I'm excluding the 223 because that's not a good comparison to the, the 308. I'm talking about 6.5 Grendel and the bigger rounds like 6.8 and stuff like that. Alright, so bullet power, you can get that in a smaller platform, a lighter platform, easier to maneuver platform. All right. So this right here is a 6.5 Grendel. I have it in an 18-inch barrel just because I wanted a little bit more velocity and a little bit more sending it out there. But usually AR-10s are a lot bigger. They usually are in 18-inch barrels or um, we got a 20-inch one over here. This right here is a Palmetto State Armory AR-10. I just move my hat out of the way. And this thing is a beast. It is a 20 inch, and it is heavy, and be, and it is thick. The receiver is massive. It is just bulky. All right. Even even compared, I don't know how well you can see the comparison here, but my Grendel compared to my 308, the receiver is so much smaller. And it just saves you so much on weight. Um, and personally, 
I'm hauling my gun around the woods. I'm, I'm doing everything with it. I don't like a super heavy gun. All right. So that's another reason that I think the AR-15 is so much better than the AR-10. It's just because of the weight savings, right? It just does so much. I think that it's worth it to have your smaller platform and you lose a little bit of power, but you also also save on the weight. All right. So it's another reason. All right. Another reason. Another to another reason that I think that the AR-10. It's just not as good as the AR-15. It's because of the price. All right, for the most part, and I know there's always an exception, so you, you don't have to tell me in the comments, I know. But the AR-10 is more expensive. Generally speaking, the AR-10 is more expensive. Um, you can, for example, the Palmetto State Armory. Um, the lowers for an AR-15 are like $150 completely built. And then you can get a 6.5 upper, used to be for $350, now it's about $400 whole rifle right for like 600 bucks 650 whatever they are 10 you're looking at like at least $800 now with the price of everything going up um, and I don't really think it's worth the extra 200 bucks in my opinion um, after having both rifles after shooting both rifles a ton after hunting with both rifles I don't think it is worth the upcharge that you get on your rifle. Um, I know you can always buy cheaper rifles and you can buy more expensive rifles and you get what you pay for, but just in general, just in general, your AR-10s are going to run you more just because it takes more to make them, right? Because, I mean, they got bigger, heavier receivers, more so than the AR-15, and it's just more. All right? So, those are, those are like the high points on why I think that the AR-15 is better than the AR-10 and that that's why you should if you are looking at purchasing an AR-10 really consider the AR-15 alright consider those higher caliber the larger calibers if you're looking to take pigs with it I know a ton of people that pig hunt with the 6.5 Grendel and have awesome luck now it's not saying that the 308 for pigs is not remarkably better it is. I mean, the 308 is a heavy hitter, especially when you're hunting hogs, all right? And hogs are stubborn, right? But is it really is it really worth the weight, the uh, less maneuverability? Most of the time, like I said, AR AR 15s. I know a lot of Grendels. They they come in they come in the 16 inch barrels, and they're just easier to maneuver. Like I said, this one was a little different. I. I I wanted the 18 inch um, but a lot of people I know that hunt with them use the 16 inch they like it better and it's just easier to work with easy to maneuver where most AR 10s they come with the larger barrels the 18s the 20s I do have a, a 16 back here and the thing still weighs weighs a ton and it's still pretty bulky all right not I mean it's not the only reason but whatever so that about does it on why I think that the AR-10 or you shouldn't buy an AR-10. All right, I think you should definitely go for the AR-15. Platform smaller, lighter, less expensive, just as easy to find ammunition, or just as easy to buy, just as cheap, or just as not as cheap, I guess, because you can buy cheap plinking and cheap, uh, not cheap plinking. You can buy cheap plinking ammunition and you can buy expensive shooting ammunition the same in either of the platforms. All right. So I think that about does it guys. I appreciate everybody for watching. Please go hit the subscribe and like button if you enjoyed the video or if you found it helpful. Um, and go check out the merch. We got some pretty sweet merch down there. Got some nice shirts with like a big old fat bass on the back of it. Uh, nice gun draped across the back of it. All kinds of cool stuff. So go check that out. And that about does it. As always, guys, take someone outdoors. I'll see y'all next time.